Hello everybody, I'm Sean Powers and today we're going to learn how to upgrade our Ubuntu boxes to a brand new version. This is especially pertinent with the recent release of Trusty Tar version 1404, which is a, a long-term service support or long-term support version of Ubuntu. And to actually do the upgrade from one version to another, it's pretty much the same procedure. Whether you're, whether you're running Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, uh, Big Toe Ubuntu, whatever version or variant of Ubuntu you might be running, the procedure is very, very similar. Uh, now, before we go into how to actually do it, I kind of wanted to make a, a special point to point this out. Upgrading from one version of Ubuntu or an Ubuntu variant to another usually works great until it doesn't. So before you upgrade, if you decide to upgrade, make sure you have all of your personal files backed up. If you have configurations on your server, make sure that they are backed up you know, on a, on a flash drive or something so that if things go sideways, you can always restore those with a fresh install. That's actually what I usually do on my systems. I do a fresh install. Uh, you know, from scratch, and then just copy my files back over, like my personal files and my folders and configuration files for like Apache and stuff. And sometimes even with that, it's better to look at the directives that you've put in Apache because the new Apache version might have different directives in it. So anyway, that's my that's my warning. If you're still with me, we're going to go over two different ways very quickly to get the version to upgrade. The first is using the GUI. If you're using a desktop computer, whether it's you know Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, there's a GUI way to upgrade from one version to another. The other way that works no matter what system you're on is the command line version, the CLI version. This is what you have to do on headless servers. But this will also work on a GUI system if you prefer to do the, the command line way of doing things. So I'm going to show you the GUI way first. My system here is actually Zubuntu, starts with an X, so Zubuntu 13.10, Saucy Salamander. And what you need to do if you're going to do the GUI version is going to the Settings Manager. Again, on Ubuntu, you just search for Software Updater. So click on Software Updater, and it'll go through and check for updates and stuff. And you'll see on mine, automatically it says, you know, your software is up to date, but there's a version 14.04 of a Zubuntu and you have 13.10. If yours doesn't say this, click on this settings button and inside here on, up, on the updates tab, see there's all these tabs here, but go to the updates tab and on the very bottom it says notify me of new Ubuntu version. You can either say for a new long-term support version like 14.04 is or any new version. And then you close that, and the next time you actually run the software updater, it'll say, hey, do you just want to upgrade right here? You click this button, and it will upgrade the whole system. It'll take quite a long time. It'll download stuff, update it, and then reboot. We are not going to do that right now, because I also want to show you how to do the command line version. But this is the GUI version. Just click upgrade. To do the command line upgrade, you actually open up a terminal window terminal windows where all cool things happen. And then that command that was on the slide, if you don't remember, was sudo apt-get install update manager core. Hit enter, it'll ask for the password, then it'll go and it will install everything, which mine is already all installed, so I don't have anything that needs to be installed, but you should try that because it may not be installed on your system. Once that's installed, you just type do-release-upgrade, hit enter, and it's going to check for a new Ubuntu release. Now, this doesn't require the GUI. Remember, I could just be SSH'd into a remote server and run this, this command after I'm sure that Update Manager Core is installed. And now it's actually going to go through the process of updating everything. It's like, you sure you want to update everything, man? It's going to be gone. The saucy is going to be trusty. I'm going to say yes. Now it's going to go through and it's going to update everything on my system using my local mirror but it's going to update everything to trusty tar version 1404. Now this is actually going to take quite a long time, but this is the process. And then once you're done, you reboot and you have 1404 running. And as long as everything goes right, you have a brand new system that's all up to date and running. If things go wrong, you're going to be really thankful that you have those backups. You can see it gives you one last chance here. Like, dude, it's going to take like several hours. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, if you can say either yes, no, or details to give you exactly what's going on, you would click yes, and then you would go and make some coffee, maybe some dinner, catch a movie, come back, and you should have that system all set and going. That's really all it takes to upgrade Ubuntu from one version to another. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.